Here is a lift search at Bayok Tower. This used to be the tallest building in Thailand. So let's start off with a sort of a tour of the layout of this building. This building is a mixed-use building. On the bottom floors, we have a small shopping center. Then above that are car parks. Until floor 18, which is the lobby, and above floor 18 are hotel rooms, all the way until floor 77. That is where the observation deck starts from, all the way up to floor 84 or the rooftop. And also in the observation zone are some restaurants, and these are all sky restaurants. These are very nice. Now all the main lifts here in this building are either one of these three brands: LG, Gold Star, and Sigma. These three are basically the same brand under different names. And also, the decoration in these lifts are not consistent, which means in just one set of lifts, you can have three types of buttons, two types of indicators, and a variety of cabs, which makes it very interesting as it makes each lift has its own identity. Starting off with the first set of lifts, these are the car park lifts. These do not go down to the first floor, as that is for another set of lift. These go 1.5 meters a second. Let's go up. It says this lift will come. These are the car park lifts. Those, I'm not sure how about these lifts though. We will discuss more about this later. But, in the meantime, this lift has arrived. So, we're going to go up to the 18th floor. This is the car park lift. Quite slow to be honest. And now to the lift opposite, which are the lobby shuttle lifts. These go from the first floor up to the lobby and do not stop at the car park. But the doors that you saw on the seventh floor seems to be like an emergency exit, or maybe it's just a replacement of the old lift, I'm not sure. But anyway, these lifts go 2.5 meters a second. This, this one has the original indicator. This has the original, I like this. Before we go to the main lift up the tower, as you can see here on the sides there are two lifts. On the sign this says this is a guest house lift, but this is actually the lobby shuttle service lift, which goes to the same floors as the lobby shuttle lift, but these are just a service lift so it's not very decorated. I didn't film these two lifts as it is quite risky to me. But anyway, now moving on into the main set of the lifts to go up the tower. Here on the lobby, the 18th floor, there are two sections, the low zone and the high zone. The low zone only goes as far as floor 49. These go 3.6 meters a second. I'm in one of the low zone lifts. Now I can go as far as 49, that's the top floor. I'm not sure, I think they disabled the keypad thing, the keycard thing, I'm not sure. Why you didn't need to do this? I think it's because of COVID and that's one thing, but uh, I don't have the real answer. Now there's only 4 lifts in this set. The 2 lifts at the back are actually the service lifts, which I didn't film as it is quite risky. Anyway, let's move on to the high zone section. The 2 lifts at the front here are not the high zone lifts. These are the observatory lifts. We'll talk about this later, but first to the high zone lifts at the back. The 4 lifts at the back are the high zone. These go all the way to floor 77 and go nice and fast 4.75 meters a second. Okay, this is the first time filming with a GoPro.
It's very nice. Oh. Oh. Okay, the lift is finally ours. 40 floors to go. And now to the observatory lift. I didn't get a very good film of this lift because it is very, very busy. This lift goes from the 18th floor all the way to floor 77 to floor 83. I love that indicator. And now, on the 77th floor, floor 77 is like a sky lobby for the observations and the sky restaurants up there. If you walk around the back, you'll see a small generic lift which takes you up from 77 to 82 and this opens up into a bar. This is a generic lift that seems to only go to 77 and 83. And wow, it's very small. This doesn't go that much fast. Uh, yeah. Definitely. There is a panoramic view in there. There's from another building. Here we are at 77. Oh. Oh god. Before we go to the next lift, let's go and see the outdoor view of Bangkok City on the 84th floor. And speaking about the views, the next lift is the glass lift. It's the best lift here. This lift goes from the 77th floor down to the first floor, but sadly this only goes 3 meters a second, which is quite slow for the amount of floors. But still, you can get a very great view of Bangkok City from the lift. And here it is. Wow, man, no. This looks very nice. Wow. Look outside. Wow. This is the daytime ride on the down. I'm sad that this only goes 3 meters a second. It's quite slow for the amount of floors. This is the 20th floor. And then, and this turns into a complete dark side. And we're going past the lobby. That is some very nice intelligent leveling. And that's about all of the main lifts in the building. And also, there's the service lifts which I didn't film, but you can watch TRG's video on these. TRG has made two videos on the same topic and these are very great videos. You can click the link in the description or on the top right hand corner on the i symbol. 
And that's about all of the lifts here in Bayok Tower. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to my channels.